Have you ever gone swimming and felt something brush against your foot? Was it seaweed? Was it a fish? Was it maybe a 20-foot crocodile with huge teeth, giant claws, and a six-foot tail capable of decapitating a human? I hope not, but they do exist. All over the world, crocodiles exist, and they are scary. And unless you respect them and their personal space, you could very well end up as a croc appetizer. So get your fishing boats and traps ready because here are the 15 largest crocodiles in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number 15. Panama Monster Back in 2014, a picture began to circulate on the internet of a large crocodile captured by fishermen at the northern end of the Panama Canal in the town of Cologne. This croc appeared to be enormous and was photographed tied down and blindfolded on the back of a flatbed truck. With no official information released on the beast's size or weight, the only evidence we have is this picture and local eyewitness statements. After starting off as babies around a half foot long, these prehistoric looking animals have been known to reach up to 20 feet long and weigh nearly half a ton. But don't let the photo fool you, this big fella, while still being fairly large, is not as gigantic as it may appear in the picture. That's due to a little trick that they call forced perspective. Where an object in a picture can appear closer, farther away, larger, or smaller based on the viewer's vantage point on camera location. If we look closely at the photo, we can see that there are people taking pictures of the croc but appear to be several feet away, giving them the appearance of being smaller than they actually are. While the crocodile itself is closer to the photographer, tricking the eyes and appearing much larger. This crocodile, while not the largest in the world, is still big and not to be messed with. Dubbed the Panama Monster, it was taken away to a lesser populated area and reportedly released back into the wild. Number 14, Tawi Tawi. Tawi Tawi is a small island in the Philippines with a large number of residents being farmers and fishermen. Back in 2017, one of those fishermen was out on their boat when they spotted what they believed to be a giant log. But upon further inspection, they realized it was a massive crocodile. The croc was reported to officials who came up with a plan to capture it. Once a team was assembled, they somehow managed to get the king-sized killer on board, nearly destroying the entire boat in the process. Crocodiles will use their tails as paddles to propel themselves through the water. They've also been known to use it to whip and disable its prey and apparently everything else they come into contact with, including fishing boats. With this behemoth measuring just under 17 feet, it definitely had a tail to watch out for, and after the croc was brought on shore, it was turned over to the municipal government. It's not known what happened to the crocodile, but in the Philippines, according to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, it is illegal to kill a croc. Number 13. Giant Croc in Matara in Matara, Sri Lanka, a giant croc was found stuck in a water canal after the water levels of the Nawala River rose during recent heavy rains. The colossal croc became trapped inside the canal, unable to climb up due to its massive size. Measuring 18 feet long and estimated to have weighed close to a ton and a half, it's believed to be the largest crocodile ever seen on the island. There have been documented reports of villagers being attacked and killed by crocodiles on the Nawala River and not knowing if this croc was just being curious or actually had a taste for humans was cause for concern. After notifying the wildlife department of the situation and with the help of a backhoe and a tractor, it took villagers and police several hours to remove the supersized snapper with no injuries and safely relocate it back to its natural habitat and away from the villagers. Number 12, Jaws the Third. Nope, this isn't the third movie about a gigantic shark, but it's the name of a gigantic saltwater crocodile in India. 
Jaws was one of four crocodile hatchlings imported from Singapore initially slated for slaughter. After the studies of the feasibility of crocodile farming were completed, it was decided to keep them alive when research showed that the population of wild crocs was in decline. After the crocs reached adolescence, they were relocated to larger facilities, but researchers noticed that one of them was outgrowing the rest of the crocs exponentially. At 10 feet long, Jaws was clearly the king of the ring, as the others were still measuring less than seven. Fighting daily, taking over territory, and even losing a part of his tail in battle, Jaws eventually had to be moved into his own enclosure. When the time came for Jaws to mate, he was more of a fighter than a lover. In 1996, a nine-foot female saltwater crocodile was introduced into his enclosure with the hopes that they would breed. However, our crocodile Casanova had other plans. Being six feet longer, Jaws grabbed her and shook her and tossed her out of the water. This happened multiple times during the course of several years, and it was finally decided that Jaws would remain celibate rather than risk the lives of other crocs. Fast forward a few decades after becoming the main attraction at the Madras Crocodile Bank in Chennai, India, Jaws sadly died in January 2020 at 50 years old, weighing 500 kilograms and just over 15 feet long. Jaws III was the largest captive crocodile in India. Number 11. Gomek Gomek was a large saltwater crocodile caught somewhere on the Fly River in Papua New Guinea back in the 80s. Already at a ripe old age, it's believed that he was born around 1917. In 1985, our long-in-the-tooth crocodile was sold to Arthur Jones, the inventor of the Nautilus exercise machines, who was an avid animal collector known to already have a herd of elephants living on his property in Florida. Gomek lived there for five years and eventually was sold to St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in St. Augustine, Florida, where he would earn the reputation as one of the largest and tamest crocodiles in captivity, putting on shows for visitors, even letting his feeders get within three feet of him, which is never recommended with normal crocs unless you have a death wish. Gomek wowed audiences until 1997, when he finally passed away due to heart disease at an estimated grand old age of 90 years. He was mounted at the zoological park near his former enclosure, which now houses his former mate, Sidney, and his successor, Maximo. Gomek's final measurements were 18 feet, 8 inches, and he weighed in at 1,896 pounds. Sarcosuchus. Let's hop back in the time machine for a bit and head back a few years. Uh, a few million years. The Sarcosuchus was an ancient ancestor of saltwater crocodile, and these guys were huge. Measuring up to 40 feet long and weighing over 17,000 pounds, Sarcosuchus makes the crocs of today look like a salamander. Dubbed the super croc, this apex predator sits at the very beginning of the crocodile family tree. Although never seen, except for its bones, experts believe the ancient reptile likely looked very similar to the crocs we see today. Crocodiles have survived for millions and millions of years with little to no adaptions, proving that they've been at the peak of evolution since the beginning. After the dinosaurs became extinct, the super croc and its future relatives no longer need to be so massive, as their food sources shrunk in size and quantity. Thankfully, they evolved into the smaller, more efficient crocodiles that we see today. <laughs> awesome! Just as long as they stay extinct. I've seen Jurassic Park enough times to know how that ends up. <laughs> Dinosuchus Since we're still all in our time machine, let's head back 70 million years to the time where Dinosuchus reigned as king of the crocs. The name Dinosuchus roughly translates to terrible crocodile, and this guy was mean. He lived up until the end of the Cretaceous period when most dinosaurs went extinct and had no natural predators. This cold-blooded killer is even thought to have dined on Tyrannosaurus, and with a bite as big as it had, its jaws were estimated to be able to bite down with more force than most dinosaurs of its time, including the T-Rex. Now that's a pretty big bite. Being slightly smaller than its extinct relative, the Sarcosuchus, our friend the terrible crocodile measured a whopping 39 feet long on average and weighed nearly eight and a half tons. 
though no complete skeleton has ever been excavated and the few fragments of skeleton that were found in the 40s were put together wrong, our understanding of this large lizard has recently been revamped as new bones have been discovered, giving us a more clear understanding of how this jumbo tank with teeth lived. 14-footer in Georgia for Derek Snelson and his daughter Shelby, September 1st, 2019 started off just like any other day. Nothing notable, but by the end of the day, they would both be on record as having caught the largest alligator in Georgia State's history. Along with a crew from Lethal Guide Service, a local hunting guide business, the Snelsons set out on what would be Shelby's first hunt. Now, I know what you're thinking, hey, that's not a crocodile. I know, but it is a form of crocodilia and comes from the same scientific order as crocodiles. Just think of them as cousins. Anyway, back to Georgia. The Snelsons were on the water with their guides for over six hours that day tracking the gator before they finally hooked him up. And if you think he went without a fight, guess again. The gator thrashed around so much that he almost capsized the boat. After a bit of a struggle, they were able to get off a clean kill shot to end the excursion. The gator was hauled off to the Department of Natural Resources to be measured and weighed, and in the end, its final measurements were reported to be 14 feet, 1.75 inches, squeezing past the previous Georgia State record of 13 feet and 10 inches. Cassius once dubbed the world's oldest crocodile, Cassius was about 100 years old when he entered the Guinness Book of World Records as being the largest living crocodile in captivity. Just one quarter inch away from 18 feet long, Cassius weighs about 2,200 pounds. Being physically able to eat an entire human in one sitting, Cassius has been fed solely by the same person for the entire time he's been in captivity. I'm sure it's no easy task trying to find someone crazy enough to go face to face daily with a massive reputed man-eater. Captured in 1984, Cassius has been labeled as a problem animal due to his knack for attacking boats on the Finnis River in Australia's Northern Territory. He was sold three years later in 1987 to George Craig and moved to his new home, Marineland Crocodile Park in Queensland, Australia. He's now the star attraction for the park, bringing in a thousand visitors a year from all over who want to see this ginormous man-eater eat. Sounds like fun, as long as I'm not the one on the menu. Lo Long Lo Long hails from the Philippines and has a dark past. This monstrous man-eater was thought to be responsible for killing a small child in 2009, as well as a fisherman in Bunawan Township. Measuring an astronomical 20.24 feet long, Lo Long was no easy catch. Beating out Cassius as the largest captive saltwater crocodile, it took over 100 villagers and steel cable traps to capture this river monster and a crane to lift it onto the back of a flatbed truck. He was then driven to a truck scale when he was weighed in at just over 2,000 pounds. Although happy to be rid of the croc, the townspeople weren't able to relax as some had reported seeing an even larger croc in the area at the time of Lolong's capture. Larger than 20 feet? I think they're gonna need a bigger boat. While the news that there may be more giant killer crocs in the nearby vicinity is disconcerting news for some townsfolk, environmentalists are somewhat thrilled due to the fact that the animal appears to be thriving. Lo Long was named after a government official who passed away while en route to assist with the capture. Now lives at New Ecotourism Park and Research Center on the outskirts of the town and has dramatically boosted tourism to the area. Although all the extra money just goes to feeding this large and truly terrible beast. Brutus Brutus is a five and a half meter, one-armed behemoth videotaped crawling out of the Adelaide River with a pretty decent sized bull shark clenched in its jaws. Talk about a photo opportunity. Not only do you get to see a giant one-armed crocodile, but you also get to see it capture and eat a shark. Talk about a two-for-one deal. This isn't Brutus's first run-in with fame. The ferocious and photogenic croc blasted through cyberspace back in 2011 after a picture of him leaping out of the water to grab a bite of kangaroo meat during a jumping crocodile tour surfaced on the web. Well known to the river tour guides and always in demand by guests, 
Brutus is somewhat of a celebrity on the Adelaide Riverboat Tours. Tour guides are repeatedly requested to seek him out on the river, and at 80 years old, he doesn't seem like he plans on retiring anytime soon. <laughs> Bujang Senang Sarawak is a coastal town on the Malaysian island of Borneo, known for its rugged and dense rainforest and rich diversity. It's also known for something more sinister, crocodile attacks. According to the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development, from 2007 to 2013, there were 42 crocodile attacks in Malaysia, with all but two of them reportedly taking place in Sarawak. Crocodile attacks have been taking place in that region for years as its prime habitat for the reptiles while at the same time being populated by people. There was a legend about a crocodile named Bujang Senan a giant white-backed man-eating crocodile who was actually the reincarnation of a fearless Iban warrior and headhunter named Simalungan. He was killed along with his wife at the Sinang River while trying to rescue her from captors. Both had their bodies thrown into the river while they were carried away by the current. Simalungan's relative, who was a powerful shaman, spoke to him from beyond and was told that he wanted revenge. He asked the gods to bring him back as a white crocodile to forever terrorize the relatives of the people who killed him and his wife. This fear went on for 50 years until a white-backed crocodile was caught and killed in 1992. The Dominator Back in Australia, on the Adelaide River, home to our one-armed friend Brutus, Another saltwater superstar has been making moves to steal a little bit of the limelight. Enter Dominator, a five and a half to six meter heavyweight who's been seen launching out of the water like a rocket to grab the tasty kangaroo meat being offered from the tour guides. This meat-seeking missile is slightly larger than Brutus, and the two definitely have a rivalry. Brutus, who was seen recently with large and fresh scars, is thought to have been fighting Dominator as he is the only known croc in the area that can compete in size and weight. Although the river guides seem to think it was another outsider croc trying to make moves on Brutus' territory, either way, it seems Dominator, being healthy and larger and equipped with both front arms, will be dominating the Adelaide River in the very near future. The Giant Ghost Crocodile Resonant Grenobi Sakalave Well, actually, say that one time, correctly. Much better for my vocabulary, he's also known as Ancestor of the Large Lizard, or in short, Razana. Yet another prehistoric Herculean croc who was also a product of the Jurassic period. From jaw and tooth material found in Madagascar, it's evident that this carnivorous croc was designed to chew through bone and hunted prey the size of a small car with ease. Teeth fossils from this animal averaged 15 centimeters in length. Not only did they have massive teeth, the teeth also had serrations, a necessary tool to eat large prey and to chew through tendons. Measuring in at about 23 feet long, the Ransana is one of the largest prehistoric crocodiles to exist. <laughs> Fighting Lizard King Imagine a crocodile that was longer than a great white shark at over 30 feet long, whose head is so big it was bigger than a full-sized human at over 5 feet long. This croc could have been a star in Jurassic Park alongside the T-Rex, seeing as how this marine crocodiliomorph appeared in the early Jurassic period. In fact, this prehistoric croc can only be known as M-Rex, short for the Macamosaurus rex, named by the University of Bologna team that found this fossil in Tunisia. Affectionately known as the Fighting Lizard King, this colossal sea croc was the largest extinct sea croc ever found. While the team was used to finding only small remnants of teeth from prehistoric creatures, they actually uncovered an entire skull whose teeth were so massive, it's assumed that the Fighting Lizard King had a hearty appetite for pretty much anything that came across his path. This awesome discovery served as proof that there may not have been a mass extinction of animals at the end of the Jurassic period as originally thought, as Emrex seemed to have survived the period just fine. Let's just hope that they don't find his DNA and, uh, well, you know how that movie went. Whether you're on a river tour or at the zoo or just out swimming, if you're in an area that is home to crocs, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Crocodiles have killed men, women, 
children, and every other form of animal in between, without discrimination. Not out of anger or hate. That's just what they do. They eat, grow, and then eat some more. And unless you plan on swimming with a bazooka, or your last name is Dundee, I think the safest and smartest and coolest way to see crocodiles is just to re-watch this video.